Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so <laughs> it's your girl KK here finally doing my monthly Shop My Stash. I know last time I said I was going to try and start doing it at least every two weeks or something like that, but it has just not been working out like that, you guys. So <laughs> please bear with me. I've been using these products for a month now and I'm so ready to shop for some new stuff. But I must say, I am very, very pleased with everything that I chose. I'm really not going to have any negatives too much, I don't think, because I really, really picked some good stuff. So let me just run through right quick, show you what I've been using, if I have any thoughts about this stuff, and then we can move into picking some new stuff, okay? So let's start out with my serums and primers and stuff like that, like I always do. So this first one here is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This is what it looks like. I think I got this in my boxy, if I'm not mistaken. I actually really enjoyed using this. I think I really like this because of the fact that it's really kind of like more of just a moisturizing primer and i really do love moisturizing primers it's not anything that i you know that fills in my pores or you know blurs or anything like that it's just a nice gentle moisturizing primer and i really enjoyed using it i have no complaints about it felt good but yeah it's not anything that i would use if i wanted to blur my skin or fill in pores, just a nice moisturizer. Next, I chose this Soft Focus Glow Drops from Rodial. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. So yeah, this is an illuminating primer. Very, very pretty. And I chose this because I wanted to see how this would work like under my foundation to give me a little bit of extra glow underneath, you know, underneath my foundation in those areas like my high cheekbones and you know, tip of my nose and stuff like that. And I actually really, really enjoyed using it. I only use it a few times because it's not often that I want to just be super glowy. But this stuff really worked. I was able to see it through my foundation, but not so much that it was like driving me crazy or anything. I like the fact that it has this little dropper. So it is very, very easy to use. And you don't have to use a lot at all. This stuff is really glowy. So yeah, like this a lot. Okay, so next for my serum, I did choose this Clean Skin Club Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. Very nice serum. It is just, you know, for me, it just felt like your basic, you know, overall serum. But this one to me is a little bit thicker than some other serums that I have used but it left my skin feeling very, very nice. It's very hydrating, as you can see. Very smooth, very silky. It did um, absorb into my skin very, very nicely. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I can't say if it brightened or boosted anything, <laughs> quite honestly, but it felt very, very nice. And for moisturizer, um, this past month, I've been using this Glow Recipe this is their Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. And this is a very, very moisturizing cream. As you can see, I have a nice little dip in there from using it this past month. I can't say that I like this more than the Mark, Mark Jacobs that I used last month. But what I will say is I feel like the texture is, or the consistency, thickness, whatever, of the two are very similar so i do really like both of these very very nice hydrating moisturizer really enjoyed using this so i like both of them the mark jacobs is really nice though but this one is cool too okay so for foundations this first one that i chose was this new morphe filter effect foundation I have uh, mixed feelings about this foundation. The jury is still out. I really don't have any bad feelings about it. The shade that I have, I'll put it on the screen because I can't read that. It's too small right now. But it's a soft focus foundation. 
I do really like the finish of this, to be honest with you. It's kind of weird. It seems like when you're putting it on, like it's going to be matte, but it's really not. It's more of like a natural finish, at least for me, in my opinion. Um, it does have this pump. This color that I got when I first put it on, it looks very light. When I put it on my face, it's like, oh, it's going to be too light. But it's crazy when I start blending it out. It's like the perfect match for me. So that's very interesting. It just kind of like marries into your skin tone, if that makes sense. You know, some foundations do that. They just kind of um, morph into <laughs> your skin tone. And this is one of those for me. So yeah, I don't know. The jury's still out. I don't have anything negative to say about it really, but I can't say I'm in love with it just because it's, you know, I don't know. It's just a little bit different for me with this shade. Okay. Next I did go ahead and try out the new Fenty Beauty. This is the easy drop blurring skin tint surprisingly fell in love with this i think out of all the foundations i might have used this one the most because yeah i definitely really really like this even though it's just a skin tint the coverage was just like what <laughs> and it just looks so natural and flawless on my face so yeah i really enjoyed this a lot a lot next i have here this catrice true skin foundation this is hydrating love 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 this i don't know if i use this one more or the fenty more to be honest with you i love both of them this one very beautiful natural type finish to me um, my face just looked really hydrated, really nice using this. I have the shade Warm 092 Spices, and I was really surprised. I wanted to try this out because it's affordable, and I like the shade range, you know, the shades that they had. So, yeah, I really enjoyed this, liked it a lot. And for concealer, I really only used one concealer this go around, you guys. Go figure. I used my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer with the Satin Finish. So I use the shade Deep Cinnamon. And yeah, I like this concealer. It works out nice for me. It's not drying at all. Blends out easily. And I really like this shade. So decent coverage too. Okay, so let's get into the powders that I chose for this last shot, my stash. I did um, choose the CoverGirl. This is their Clean Fresh Powder. Um... I don't know. I mean, it's a decent powder, but I just feel like I couldn't really see it. I don't know. I know for powder, you know, you don't really want to see it a lot, but sometimes I do like that extra bit of coverage from my powder, you know, if I'm using like a, a lighter foundation. And I just really felt like this powder, I don't know if it was just too too close to my skin tone to where i really didn't see it and it was just too light but it's a decent enough powder i feel like i need to use it more to really get a feel for it maybe with some other foundations but yeah it's decent i just i can't say i love it next i pulled my aqua assurance um from jcat this is their compact powder foundation and I like to use this to set my face though, not as a powder foundation. This color is perfect for me. I love it. I already know that I love this stuff. It works amazing as, you know, a setting powder for your face and a foundation because it has excellent coverage. So I already knew I like this. I do use the shade Caramel. Very, very nice. Now I did pull <laughs> this Sephora. What is this called? the micro smooth powder that everybody loves because I'm just like, I really need to figure out how to make this work for me because everybody loves it so much. And I just felt like it wasn't really doing anything. But this time around, I decided to use it just as a setting powder more so than using it like as an additional powder on top of a setting powder just to finish everything. So I did try this out like to set my face, you know, when I did just like kind of like those light really light foundation or no makeup makeup type looks where I just kind of concealed my flaws and just did a really really light touch 
and I like it. So yeah, I do like using it that way for myself. I think that works out best for me. And I had a good time with it for this Shop My Stash. Now, lastly, for powders, I did pull a different um, loose setting powder to try out. This one is from Prime Beauty. Very, very pretty packaging. As you can see here, the rose gold. The shade, this is the locked in loose powder. I have Golden Gal. <laughs> Golden Gal. Perfect, perfect shade for me. Actually, I was using this to set all over my face occasionally if I really wanted to do that. But this is really, really nice for under the eyes. Um, I really, really enjoyed using this powder. You guys know I love my DJ's Unique Boutique. So, you know, taking a break from that is kind of hard. So I really, really am glad that this powder worked out nicely for me because it's set very nicely, very evenly. I didn't have any issues with patchiness and stuff like that. So yeah, I would definitely suggest if you're interested in trying out Prime Beauty, try out the loose setting powder. It's really nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into like blushes and bronzer and all that good stuff. Okay, so for blush, um, I don't remember if I pulled this from my shop my stash or if I just grabbed it after the fact. <laughs> I don't because I don't remember pulling this for my shine mustache, but I did pull this Lottie London blush crush um, to use. I don't know if I was just looking for this color, but this color is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty for these to be so affordable. Um, I got mine from Ulta. This blush is really nice. It goes on nicely. It's not too, too pigmented, but it is beautiful on the skin. Um, buildable easy to blend out i really really like it and this color is really pretty this one is called zach they're named after boys so this one is zach really like it listen you guys i grabbed this cigate london miss piggy blush quad from the boxy pop-up because i had been staring at it on sale at sephora for the longest tell me why i had no idea this was a cream blush quad I had no idea this was cream until I went to use it. Let me open this up. And it's so funny to me because I went to use it and I was like, oh, this is cream, which is cool. But after using it, I, I understand why it was on sale. It is not very pigmented at all. It's kind of a little bit greasy, to be honest with you. Um, I would say maybe these two shades here, you know, I really liked the most. But yeah, it's like the pigmentation is just not there. You see that? So it's so funny because like I said, I had no idea that it was cream. But look at that. It's like no pigmentation and it is like kind of greasy. So I didn't enjoy using this like I thought I would. Um, yeah, the only benefit I would say from using this was when I did use it, um, you know, on my cheeks where the blush was, it had a little glow to it because it is, you know, a cream and it is kind of like, Mm -hmm. just really slick it did give my cheeks like a natural glow so other than that yeah I'm not really feeling this really disappointed in it but what are you gonna do so if I would have been paying attention I would have realized that the Miss Piggy was cream blush but even still I would have got it because I love cream blush the problem is the pigmentation is not there and it feels greasy. So yeah, don't like it that much at all. This Ace Beauty, what is this called? The Blushed in Paradise palette. It's so pretty. Look at that. I really enjoyed using this a lot. I mean, I stayed with these two really down here. But this blush is really pretty. Very, very pretty on the skin. Nicely pigmented. It wasn't ashy or dusty. It wasn't like too bright or anything. 
it really really meshed well i think with my skin tone so yeah i enjoyed this i enjoyed it a lot next i did pull my two tammy times revolution face palettes so if you're familiar with these you know that they have the um which one is this the golden hour they have the highlight you know blush bronzer and contour in there so this one is for the darker skin tones i didn't really use this one i kind of stuck with this one which is the paradise glow this one is a bit more my vibe i really do love orange blush don't ask me why but i do the highlighter suits me perfectly and the bronzer and contour suits me perfectly so this whole palette is perfect for me so yeah i kind of geared more towards this still love it this one i just have <laughs> but i use this one really the most okay so also for bronzer the main thing that i really wanted to try was this l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear uh, powder foundation i did pull this darker shade so that i could try it out as a bronzer Let's see if i can open there we go so yeah and i loved it i absolutely loved using this as a bronzer it's so smooth and silky you know because it's a powder foundation really but it just blends into the skin so nicely and this color worked great for me as a bronzer. So very happy I tried it. Definitely going to be using this more in the future. I have the shade number 375 if you're curious. Now I also pulled this Vanity Makeup Face Palette. It does have, um, you know, the contour, the sculpting, you know, cream. And then it has a highlighting cream in here so it's a completely cream palette but I enjoyed this too actually I only used it a couple of times because I'm not really that big on cream all the time but it's very very nice when you want to do like those glowy natural type of looks you know and just kind of have that dewy look really really liked it very nice contour shade blends out easily i never really use these shades here i guess i could use that under my eye but i didn't use that and the highlighter i really really like the highlighter i know cream um and like liquid highlighters are really big right now this one is gorgeous very very nice looks beautiful and natural on the skin so yeah i like this a lot from vanity makeup i'm sure i got this from boxy pop-up or something and then i did pull this tart what is it called is this the clay yeah clay play palette so it's basically like you know face palette but you can also use it for the eyes i only used one shade <laughs> which is this one down here i used that to bronze with and I was pleasantly surprised. I really was. Because you know with Tarte, and hello, you know, women of color, you can't always get away with using their stuff. But um, yeah, that's the only shade I used and it worked out very nicely for me. So happy about that. But you could also use this, you know, for your face. I mean, for your eyes and stuff. But yeah, that bronzer shade, beautiful. Okay, so highlighters. I pulled quite a few highlighters. Don't know why, but I did. This first one here from Becca. This one is Own Your Light. Gorgeous. Look at that packaging. Pretty. And this is a very, very pretty, like, rosy gold highlighter. It looks gorgeous. It's really beautiful on the skin. Um, it's not one that I would choose and wear every day just because it has that rosy goldness in there, but it is really pretty. It really is. I could definitely rock that, you know, with a beautiful makeup look. Very smooth, silky, beautiful. Next, I pulled this Milani highlighter. It's one of their duels, so you get like the cream and the powder in there. This one is called Double Shot. I love this highlighter highlighter because it's like a, it's just a no brainer. You know what I mean? It's like, you don't even have to worry when you use this, you don't even have to think about it. It's going to look gorgeous. 
it is especially for you know deeper skin tones it's so pretty it's just it's going to be gorgeous and you have the cream you have the powder they're both really beautiful gold tone highlighters silky smooth blend out beautifully um, you can use both or you know you can just use one or the other i tend to gear towards the cream because i like to use my fingers to tap it on but it's really really pretty you can see that there now these two highlighters here i didn't use quite as much the zoeva um get this open the zoeva is oh my goodness i mean you see it you see it it's beautiful and when you look at it it kind of makes you feel like oh it might be a little glittery or whatever but no it is oh it's gorgeous but this is something that's kind of like i mean i guess you know if you like highlight you like highlight but this is something if i was really doing like a seriously dramatic makeup look and i wanted my highlight to really stand out and pop because it is so gorgeous but yeah this is really really pretty i love it this one is called surreal from zoeva and lastly for highlighter i have this xx revolution called frequency in this cute little pink packaging here and this is what this one looks like another absolutely gorgeous highlighter gold tone um, this one, I believe if I'm remembering correctly, I mean, it's smooth as well, as you can see, Let's see if I can get, there we go. Very, very smooth. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me to say that one is a little less icy as you can see. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, I picked some amazing highlighters. Let's go around you guys. I love them all. <laughs> no complaints it's like when you look at them you're like oh it's gonna be glittery but no as you can see they are very very smooth okay so just a few more items we got the setting sprays this color pop no filter setting mist this is one that you do have to shake up i did shake it up so it wouldn't have all that white sediment at the bottom you have to shake this stuff up really really good because it completely separates but, and I was kind of skeptical, like, eh, is this going to give me a matte finish? You know, like really give me a matte finish. And it does, you guys, it does. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised every time I wanted to use, especially wearing a mask. If I was going out for the day and I know I was going to be out for a while and I didn't want to get too oily or shiny and I wanted to make sure, you know, that my makeup stayed in place, even under my mask, I did use this and I was really, really pleased with how it held up. It worked really nicely through the day to give me a matte finish and it held my, you know, complexion in place throughout the day under my mask. So I actually really like this. I would definitely use it more in the future. The other setting spray I chose is this Revlon Rose Glow Mist. I don't know if this is necessarily a setting spray. I think it's more so, yeah, it says prep, hydrate, and refresh. Now, what I will tell you, you guys see, I used a decent amount of this, but as you can see, it separates. So this one, you have to shake up really good as well. Um, It's very, very glowy i won't say oily even though whatever that is in there it is oily but it is very very glowy so if you want to have just a nice natural dewy look use very little of this very little of this you guys know i like to basically douse my face in spray after i powder and i made the mistake of doing that with this once oh my goodness my face was so shiny and dewy and just greasy looking it was not cute so yeah i would suggest just using just a small amount just a little ch -ch, and that's it okay it's <laughs> just that's it and it'll give you a beautiful dewy glow it's very very nice just don't use a lot please don't use a lot lastly i did use this kiss lash glue liner pen it's like a felt tip um you know, glue pen for your false lashes. And I was kind of skeptical or whatever. As you can see, it gets really dirty because, you know, whatever eyeshadow or eyeliner you have on is going to get on the tip. 
But what I will say is this stuff is really, really good. Oh my gosh, it's so easy. It sticks nicely. It, you know, it dries down and gets gets ready for your lashes like immediately. I really didn't have to wait. I put this on my lash line and by the time I put my lashes on my applicator, it was ready to go. Boom, boom, pow. Okay, so I would definitely suggest this stuff. If you're looking for an easy lash glue to use, try it out. This is from Kiss and it's called the Lash Glue Liner. I really like it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and kind of go through the palettes that I used this last month. This first one here is the Chasing Butterflies from Makeup by Tammy. This is her palette that she came out with and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. As you can see here, she has some really pretty, vibrant, beautiful just springtime, summertime shades in here. Of course, this is a palette that I would use all year round, but yeah, it's so, so pretty. So anywho, I did do a pretty bold eye look with this. I love how it came out. I didn't really have any issues with blending or building up or anything like that. Really, really gorgeous. I enjoyed it. Next, I have here the Juicy Peach Palette from Clarity Cosmetics. It's funny, when I pulled this and used it um, for a look on Instagram, I did not know that they didn't have this in stock anymore, or I probably would have used a palette that they still sell. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. I have it in my collection. I'm going to use it. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. Really, really pretty. I just did a nice, soft, basic, you know, kind of peachy tone. I look with it very, very nice. What I will say about these Clarity mattes, they are super duper powdery. I mean, the shimmers, I have no words for. The shimmers, absolutely amazing. I love all of their shimmers. The mattes, while they are very pigmented, they can be super duper powdery and dusty. So just a heads up on that. But I do love their shimmers. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, I do have my Glam Shop and Burnovich singles in here. I did use a couple of these singles. I think I really focused on the Glam Shop with looks that I did. I combined one of the Glam Shop shadows with um, this Blended palette, I believe. Yeah, I don't know. If I'm mistaken, I'll note it on the screen. But yeah, I believe I did a look with this Blended palette from Blended Cosmetics and combined it with one of the Burnovich um, shimmers. I was really, really pleasantly surprised by this palette. It is from an indie brand. I believe they're black owned, if I'm not mistaken. And I just fell in love with the color story of this palette because... It's just so pretty, beautiful, springtime, summertime, but you can, I mean, this is a year round palette really, because you do have your browns and your black in there. It's gorgeous, but the colorful shades in here, you know, some of them are a little bit more unique, not just your basic colorful shades. So I was really surprised though, because this is extremely pigmented and it blended out like a dream. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, they definitely named this palette correctly, but it is nicely pigmented as well. Next, I have here my Glaminatrix Cosmetics U Beauty palette. I did play around with this a couple of times, and I think my favorite look was the like blue-green type look that I created with this. Really, really enjoyed that look. I did a video on that look. It was a halo eye and... I'm not really that comfortable with halo eyes, but I really, really like how this one came out. So yeah, this is a really nice formula. Shimmers, gorgeous. Mattes, pigmented, easy to blend. I like this palette a lot. It's very, very pretty as well. Next, I have here my Blueberry Muffin palette from BH Cosmetics. <laughs> I love these palettes from BH Cosmetics. I've mentioned that before. BH has really, really stepped up their formula for their shadows, in my opinion, over the last year or so. And this one is no different. Pigmented, blendable mattes, 
beautiful, beautiful shimmers. I had so much fun creating that eye look. I was just sitting here blending away, blending away, talking to my husband. <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really fun. So enjoyed that. So next here, I have the Natasha Denona Circle Loco Palette. I got this, I think, right around the time that I did my last shot mustache. I love this palette. <laughs> I do. I've already stated why I love this palette. The color story. It's so funny. My girl DJ rearranged her shadows and it looks so much more appealing the way that she rearranged them. But I'm like, I just can't bring myself to do that yet. But it is really, really gorgeous. I mean, the formula, the shadows, just so easy to use. This palette, definitely a dream to play with. It's gorgeous and I love it. I love the whole packaging and everything. Next, I used my BH Cosmetics BFF. This is the Alondra and Elsie palette. Um, I think I used this in a video as well. I was really, really excited to play with this. I don't know. I just love like the whole kind of like sandstone color story combined with pops of blue. It just, I don't know. It does something to me visually. It's really pretty in my opinion. Um, I really enjoyed using this palette as well. It wasn't as deep. The shades are not as deep and dark to me as they look in the pan. The application on the eye is a little bit lighter to me than what I expected from the pan, but I was able to build it up, deepen it up, and create a look that I really, really like. So yeah, I think it's a nice palette if you're interested. I like it. Next, I did finally play with my Playing in Makeup by Yolando Jamrock Colored Wasishana Pastel Eyeshadow Palette. That is a mouthful, <laughs> but this is basically like one of the first palettes I think about when I think about like pastel shades that women of color can use without looking dusty and ashy. <laughs> so... Yeah, I did go ahead and use this. Oh my goodness. This palette is so gorgeous. Um, it is a pastel palette. I mean, as you can see in the eye look that I created, it's a pastel palette. So that's what you're going to get. You're not going to get like a whole bunch of boom pow deep color out of this. But I think it's always nice to have a really pretty pigmented pastel palette to use, you know, for those lighter eye looks that you might want to do. Um, the shimmers in this palette are a little bit lighter, a little bit softer than you might, um, you know, would normally expect or get from playing in Makeup by Yolando. But some of the shimmers like um, this blue here, gorgeous. Um, this, what is it called? Uh, Abigail. It's a really light, pretty shimmer, kind of like a topper type shade, but it's still gorgeous. Um, this one, what is this one? Shanice. This one is really pretty. Look at that. Shanice is gorgeous as well. So, you know, it's just like this one here, this light green. Look at that. Gorgeous. So it just kind of depends on, you know, what you like as far as your shadows go, but yeah, it's definitely a pastel palette. So I'm not surprised that the shimmers are lighter, a little more airy, a little more flowy because you know it goes well with these beautiful pastel mattes. So that's what we have for this one. I enjoyed it as well. And then these last two palettes here, I have my Adept Cosmetics Plain Jane palette. I did pull this one as well as the Ninhydrin palette from them to play with, but I really kind of focused on this one. The colors in here were really speaking to me a lot. So I did use some shades from this as well as this Radiant Eyeshadow palette from Eye Cravens. I did go ahead and use this. This palette, very, very nicely pigmented as well. I am or have been so pleased with the indie brand palettes that I have purchased. I'm telling you, with using these different shadows, the bold, bright colors and everything, it's like I don't even want to deal with like the more mainstream brands 
that come out with palettes that are just like mediocre because the indie brands, y'all, I'm telling you, they are doing it. If you want some color, try out some indie brands because they're just really, really nice. So anyway, I played with this and it's so funny because as colorful as this is, I did more of kind of like a just earthy, warm, neutral, kind of like date night type of look <laughs> I would call it and man even these shadows the shadows I use this one here this one here and then the black I barely tapped into that black just to kind of deepen up get a little smokiness going but yeah I really like this palette I do it's a nice big huge palette too it's huge and pairing it with the plain Jane worked out really really nicely so yeah those were all the palettes that I played with over the last month, and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, I really picked some winners this time around. So I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff away, and then we can go ahead and grab some new stuff. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and pre-pick some items this go-round, just so it doesn't take me so long to shop my stash. And also, there's... um. A few products, quite a few products that I know for a fact that I wanted to use this go around. So just starting off with these two powders here. These are both from LYS, which is the new uh, black owned clean beauty brand at Sephora or that you can get from Sephora. But, you know, beautiful packaging. But this one here is the face powder. It looks kind of crazy in this lighting, but this is the face powder that I chose to try out and I have the shade loyalty which is dark deep so I'm going to try this out as my setting powder this uh, month and then I also chose a bronzing or contour shade it looks like this is probably going to end up being I don't know we'll see how it looks on my skin tone this one's very dark though and it's called no limits or no it's worthy so this is the No Limits bronzer, but the shade is worthy. Very, very deep, very rich. So we'll see how that works either as a bronzer or a contour on me. Very, very gorgeous. I actually can't wait to try these out. Very pretty packaging. And I'm also going to pull the foundation from that brand. Also for powder, I do have my DJ's Unique Boutique. This is her Get Baked Setting Powder. And this one is in the shade Honey. <laughs> so, so excited to use this. You guys know I love this. This is her new packaging though, okay? Get into it, honey. Look how beautiful that is. So yeah, I'm, I'm pulling this. I want to use it. And then for highlight, okay? As you guys can see, I have all of my Moira blushes back here. Yes, I'm going to be using those. But for highlight, I wanted to go ahead and try um a liquid highlighter this go around i have a few in my collection this is the wet n wild mega glow hello halo and i never use my liquid highlighters so i actually really want to use this play with it see if i can even get into it because you know sometimes these can be a little tricky to you know get to look right so pulled this really excited to use it though to be honest with you i also have this new highlighting palette from playing and makeup by yolando i have only like purchased eyeshadow palettes from her and like blush and stuff so i decided to go ahead and try this born to shine diamond highlighter palette and y'all when i opened up this palette i about fainted i about passed out do you see how gorgeous that is it's so pretty. It's like I don't even want to touch it, but y'all know I'm going to touch this mug, okay? It is gorgeous. So yeah, I went ahead and picked that up and I'm going to play with this. For blush, like I said, I have all of these new Moira blushes back here. I did swatch all the shades that I have. I swatched them all on my Instagram. So if you're curious about the colors and how they swatched on me, then you could take a look at that on my Instagram. But I got a nice little variation of blushes to try here. So I'm really looking forward to see how they 
fair on my skin tone. But yeah, these are five shades that I picked up. And then I also wanted to try out this Danessa Myricks. It's the Color Fix Mattes. It's one of her kind of like multi-purpose, what is it? Like cream type product. Very, very pretty. She has several different colors to choose from. You can use them like everywhere. Your cheeks, your eyes, your lips, your face, whatever you want to do. And she sells all these different colors. So I just grabbed this one from Sephora to try out, see if I like it and see what happens. But it's really pretty. I did swatch it, I think, in my haul video maybe. And it looked gorgeous. This one is the shade Desert Rose. And you guys, I'm really going blush crazy this go around because I have here also this mm, Plain and Makeup by Yolando Bloom Blush Palette. I've had this for a while, but haven't really gotten off into it. So I pulled this as well. I kind of want to compare like these different colors that are in here, the different shades with some of my single blushes, you know, I might end up doing a declutter fairly soon so i kind of want to see you know like which um palettes blush palettes that i have that are very similar to singles so i pulled that to play with and then lastly for blush i did pull my crayon case blush binder this thing is huge if you guys aren't familiar with it it's from the crayon case and it has like five million <laughs> no i'm just kidding but it has like 18 different blush shades in here all varying um you know depths and stuff these are lighter ones still very pretty these are nice deep dark ones and then there's also some lighter ones in here as well but yeah this is really all you need when it comes to blush i feel like there's so many shades in here but yeah so i did pull that so yeah it's gonna be a crazy crazy blushy month for april but what better month to choose in April to play with a million different blushes? Okay, so let's go over here and pick out our skincare and foundation. Okay, so for foundation, I don't think I'm going to do any um, of my like drugstore or, you know, affordable ones this go round. I think I'm just going to kind of stick up here because I do have a few ones that I haven't used yet of course I did go ahead and grab one of the KVD good apple um, foundation shades I don't know how this is gonna fare for me I got the tan 072 so I do want to try this out from what I understand I don't need to use a lot for it to be full coverage so we're gonna check this out also I want to go ahead and try this out this is the LYS Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. So same brand as the face powder and bronzer that I chose. I want to go ahead and use this. I have the shade DG7. Let me show you what it looks like just in case you didn't see it um, or haven't seen it already. I really, really love their whole packaging and aesthetics for their brand. I really do. Very, very nice. Very sleek. So... Yeah, it has that same triangle shape. So we're going to go ahead and try that. And I also want to try one more. Um, let's see here. Oh, I did pick up this Elsie foundation. I grabbed this from Beauty Bay. It was on sale and this is like one of the, the more pricier foundation so i wanted to try this out as well love this bottle love the hand the way it feels in the hand very nice and i think i picked a good color quite honestly so i'm gonna try this out as well what shade is this chestnut yeah hopefully this works okay so i already know what primers i want to use this um shot my stash i got this nyx marshmallow primer as a sample when i bought some stuff from ulta so i want to go ahead and try this out i've seen a few people use it so i want to see if i like it or not 
And also I have this Milani Rose Primer. I don't remember if I've tried this or not. Honestly, I don't think I have. I think I bought this when I picked up that dewy face mist, maybe. So yeah, I want to try this out as well. So let me go ahead and pull this. It says prep and hydrate lightweight base. So that sounds good for spring. Yeah. Now for moisturizer, I really kind of want to keep it light and simple. I was looking at some of my smaller kind of like sample size moisturizers recently and I kind of I like to save these because these are perfect for travel which honey we're gonna be traveling real soon okay because the streets are calling my name but <laughs> I did want to go ahead and use one of my belief aqua balm moisturizers I love this stuff haven't used it in forever and I have a few samples so I can definitely Go ahead and use one that i'm not traveling with so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this and quite honestly i'm not sure if i really need to choose a new serum i might just go ahead and keep that um pineapple and watermelon one the green tea one that i just used last month yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that because i actually really like that one it's nice no problems. So I'm going to go ahead and keep using that and see if it does actually brighten my skin at all. So let's just go ahead and keep it simple like that and just pull the Aqua Balm moisturizer. Now, since I did pull the LYS face powder and bronzer and it is new to me, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like it or not. Um, I think what I might do is just um hmm. you know kind of like pull an old faithful when it comes to bronzer just so that if i don't like it you know i'll already have something pulled that i can try out that i know that i do like um this sephora bronzed i haven't used this in a while this one is a very very nice bronzer very nice from sephora and I just dug my finger in it. Nice. <laughs> but let's see. What shade is this? This is Ibiza. So yeah, this is a shade Ibiza. I think I'm going to pull this just in case I don't really care for the LYS bronzer. You know, you never know. And then for face powder, um, I think instead of me choosing another face powder, I typically keep my, what is it called? The Fenty Beauty you know, their powder foundation. I love that stuff. It works amazing. So I kind of keep that close by anyway. So I think I'll be fine with that. I don't think I'm going to pull a backup face powder for now, but we'll see what happens. Okay. So I think that is it for now. Okay, you guys. Now I forgot to go ahead and show you what setting sprays I'm going to use. Since I did actually really like the ColourPop no filter um setting spray which you know kind of gave me like a nice matte finish especially wearing a mask i'm going to keep using this and then i also have my morphe continuous setting mist i love this stuff this stuff it just never fails me so i always keep this close by and i want to go ahead and pull this this is basically almost empty and i have like 10 more of these so yeah we're gonna start using these okay and then, like I said, as a backup powder, I do have my Fenty Beauty. This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation that came out not too long ago. But I love having this close by as a backup. So, yeah, I'm going to be having this as well. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the palettes that I pulled. You guys know with me and palettes, I pull quite a few to choose from because I never know what I want to do so sometimes I use them all most times I don't <laughs> but this one is actually a palette that I got from Ammo Cosmetics another indie brand that I found on Instagram this is the Rainbow Clouds palette very cute little palette here and I haven't tried their formula out yet so I want to go ahead and try it out this is what this little cute little palette looks like. Um, let me just, oh, that feels nice and smooth. 
Let me just swatch a couple so you can kind of get a feel for. Oh, those look nice, don't they? Hello. I don't know if this light is bright enough. Okay, a little bit more light. There we go. So, oh, okay, Ammo Cosmetics. What? Wait, 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 wait. What? Look at that. Get a little more of that brown. Yeah. Now that's pigmentation right there. Nice and smooth. Okay, so yeah, this is from Ammo Cosmetics. I don't know if you can see that. This is the Rainbow Clouds. We are going to try this out, you guys. Keep my little <laughs> makeup remover cloth here so I can wipe off my fingertips. Okay, next I pulled one of my Pat McGrath palettes. This one is the Blitz Astral Quad Nocturnal Nirvana. I very rarely use these palettes, but I really need to use them. These mugs are expensive, okay? So this is the gorgeous one with the purple and the blue and the green. I actually swatched this and did dupes for this on my Instagram. So yeah, I already know it's very beautiful, smooth, creamy, but I'm going to do a look using this. I also pulled these Magical Makeup singles. You guys know I like to pull certain singles with my shop my stash items to play with i also have some in here from the collective cosmetics but i'm not really focusing on these four this time around is these over here okay it's these for me let me swatch a few of these i don't know if they'll show up because oh lord have mercy do you see that yeah can you focus please okay but yeah, they look kind of crazy. You know, with indie brands, sometimes they can get a little dinged up. But let me just listen. Okay, this white one here in the center. Listen, do you see that? Okay, where can I swatch? Let me swatch here. Swatch. Swatch. Let me just swatch that because it's a little. Do you see that? listen listen don't play with me okay i'm telling you these singles ciao these indie brands are not playing so these are for magical makeup okay <laughs> and these are so oh i could just look at that all day okay let's move on we'll be playing with these this time Okay, next here I have another Clarity Cosmetics palette. This is the Blue Royal, and it is a pressed pigment palette. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not, though, because I have another blue-green toned palette from Muse Beauty, I think it is, that I want to play with. But this one is really pretty. I might get around to using it. Not sure. Now, this palette here I really, really want to use. It's so pretty to me. This is from Glam Light. This is the Miracle Palette. It's so gorgeous. Let me show you. You see these colors? I don't know. It's just something about this color story. It's really, really pretty to me. I really like it. So yeah, I'm hoping that I get around to using this because it's really, really pretty. Okay, next here I have the OPV Beauty Tropical Dreams. Got this from the boxy add-on or pop-up or whatever a while back ago love this color story these blue and green shades just you know it's like those different types of blues and greens with the pop of orange in there i love it so hopefully i get around to using this one that's my goal it's really really pretty i have here the ace beauty nostalgia gorgeous color story as well look at that you guys, that is a beautiful color story. Beautiful for spring as well. So this is pretty. Hopefully I get around to using this. Um, but I have this Moira Wanderlust. This is a Dream Series palette. Look at that packaging. It's pretty, huh? And then this is a color story in here. I love this color story with those greens and blues. And then you still have your like orangey, pinky shades and your earthy 
neutral shades. I just, I don't know. It looks gorgeous together. Y'all tell me what you think. It's so, so pretty. So yeah, I'm going to pull this as well. Now this one, the Corderosa, I don't know. I'm not sure about this. This palette is gorgeous, but for some reason, I don't know. I'm just never drawn to use it. And I don't know why, because it is it's gorgeous. I don't know. I know you're probably thinking, because it's not super colorful, Camille. It's not rainbow, but it's still beautiful. It is. So I'm going to pull this, but no promises. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. I also pulled this Elf and Chipotle palette that I grabbed. What is that? Is it is it grease from my Chipotle bowl? Okay, hello. <laughs> but yeah, I pulled this Elf and Chipotle collab palette. I love the greens in here. Very, very pretty. But because of the fact that a lot of the palettes that I pulled already have green in them as well, this might be... You know, a maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. It's just, it's not versatile enough for me to say for sure I'm going to use it. Because if I do a green look with one of my other palettes, I probably won't use it this go round. But it's still very, very cute. Next, I have here this Into the Tropics from Beauty Dame. This palette is so pretty, you guys. Really, really pretty. Very colorful. It's colorful, but it has like that really pretty springtime vibe to it as well nice variation in greens in here as you can see blue purple you got your sunset shades as well very pretty so yeah i'm hoping to do a look with this this rainbow splash palette from opv pulled this because i mean hello <laughs> do i even have to explain i don't think so but yeah, I love the deeper, richer shades in here. It's colorful, but you know, it's nice and deep. You have a lot of depth in this palette. So hoping that this formula works out nicely because I have quite a few OPV palettes. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, this is the brand Becca Muse. I don't know what I called it earlier, but I pulled my Becca Muse palettes because I have not played with them yet and the color stories are gorgeous. Unfortunately, they don't have the name on them, so I just have to show it to you. This one is the blue green, which, you know, I'm sure you've seen before if you've watched my palette collection videos. Gorgeous. Look at those colors in there. So, so pretty. So, yeah, as you can see, I have plenty of green and blue to play with. And then I also picked this one, which is the pinky purple one. Look how deep and gorgeous those purples go. So, so pretty. And I swatched one of these shadows. I was supposed to use, no, I was supposed to use the blue green one already, but I didn't. Um, And I had swatched one of the shimmers in there and I just about died. So yeah, very, very pretty, very smooth. I think um, the one that's more so calling my name is this blue green one because I think I swatched this shadow up here and I was just like, I've got to use that palette. Yeah, it was that one. You see that? Oh, gorgeous. So yeah, um... It'll probably be the blue-green one that I use, but they're both really, really pretty. And then lastly, I did pull my two, well, two of my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab palettes. This one is the Volume 2, which was a gift from my girl Lily. Come over here with it. It's very big, but yes, very, very pretty. I'm sure you guys are familiar with how this palette looks, gorgeous, very nicely pigmented, and I want to play with it. Haven't played with it in a while, so I did choose that. And then I also chose my Volume 1. So, yeah, both of my Jaclyn Hill palettes I pulled. This one, full of neutrals, pop of blue, pop of green. But, you know, the blues and greens in here are gorgeous. So... 
yeah this one might be a maybe since i do have a lot of blue as well and that's kind of my only colorful option for this this one might be a maybe as well but we'll see so i forgot to pull a concealer so i just went ahead with my ride or die concealers i have my juvia's place i have my essence camouflage concealer i also have um the elf camo concealer in here not the hydrating one and then i have this nyx hd concealer so those are the concealers that i'm going to go ahead and use so they're already in my drawer so let's go ahead and put the rest of my items away Okay, you guys, so these are all of my Shop My Stash items. I'm really excited to play with this stuff over the next month or so. I really, really need to cut it down to two weeks, but y'all, I've been having issues. So <laughs> like I said, y'all gonna have to bear with me, but at least I got a lot of nice goodies to play with, okay? So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on my next one. Toodles! Talk to me.